Huh. Oh, hey guys, I wanted to play basketball, but my neighbor is borrowing my basketball. I tried bouncing rocks, but as you can see, it just does not work. I am going to see if he is done with my basketball. Why don't you guys learn about borrowing and subtraction while I go get the ball? We're going to practice subtraction. Do you remember an important rule about subtraction? In subtraction problems like this, the order of the digits matter. 6 minus 2 is 4, but 2 minus 6 is not 4. Subtraction is not like addition, so let's keep that in mind and tackle a tough problem, subtracting with multi-digit numbers. We're going to subtract 756 minus 478. Both numbers have three digits. Let's look at their place value to get a better understanding before we start subtracting. This is our place value house. This helps us see the value of each number. Our first number has a 6 in the 1's place, 5 in the 10's place, and 7 in the 100's place. Our second number has an 8 in the 1's place, 7 in the 10's place, 4 in the 100's place. Notice how each place in the house only has one digit? That's really important. Only one digit can fit in each room of our place value house. To subtract these numbers, we need to stack them so each place value matches directly above and below each other. See how each place value is directly above or below each other? The ones place on top is directly over the ones place directly underneath it. Same goes for the tens and hundreds. Now draw a line under the bottom number, and the area below the line is where we will write the difference, which is the solution to the subtraction problem. When we subtract, we always start with the ones column and then move to the left. I know that might seem a little funny since we read left to right, but in math, we subtract beginning with the place value on the right and then move to the left. Let's start subtracting with the ones place. 6 minus 8. Huh, we can't take away 8 ones from 6 because I don't have enough ones to do so. This means we are going to have to borrow from the next column over. Just like my friend borrowed my basketball, we will borrow from the neighbor next to it. Remember, the 5 in the 10s column means we have 5 sets of 10. We need to borrow one set of 10. Cross out the 5 and write 4 above it to show we are borrowing one set of 10. Now we need to add this one set of 10 to the 1s column. This means we have 6 plus 10 is 16, and now we have enough to subtract. 16 minus 8 is 8 so we write 8 in the 1's column below the line. Next, we subtract the 10's column. Notice we only have 4 10's in the top number because we had to borrow some from before. We need to take 4 minus 7. Huh, we don't have enough 10's in the top number to subtract or take away 7. So this is where we need to borrow again from the next column to the left. The 7 means we have 7 hundreds or 7 sets of 100. We need to borrow one of those sets and move them to the right. Cross out the 7 and write 6 to show we borrowed 1, and then write a 1 in front of the 4. Now we can subtract 14 tens minus 7 tens, or we often just say 14 minus 7, which is 7. Now we are ready to subtract in the hundreds column. 6 minus 4 is 2. That one was easy. We didn't even have to borrow. There are no more places to subtract, so 756 minus 478 is 278. Great job! Let's look at another problem. The problem is 9,836 minus 345. Can you help me solve this problem? Great! Where do we start? We start by writing the problem stacked, lining up each digit or place value. The first number has four digits, and the second number only has three digits. We leave a blank spot under the nine in the thousands column since the second number does not have a thousands digit. Or you could write a zero, but we will leave it blank. Now we are ready to start subtracting. Don't forget to begin in the ones column. Six minus five is one. Next, we subtract the tens column. Three minus four. Hold up. Do you remember what we need to do here? That's right, we need to borrow. Okay, we need to borrow from the hundreds column, so cross out the eight and reduce it by one, then write the one in front of the three. Now we have 13 minus four, which is nine. Great job! 
Okay, let's subtract the hundreds column. 7 minus 3 is 4. See, it's easy when we don't need to borrow. Now we are on the last column, the thousands place. 9 minus 0 is 9. Wasn't that a funny problem? We only needed to borrow one time. You'll find sometimes we need to borrow many times, where other times we might only need to borrow once, or maybe not at all. Now we know 9,836 minus 345 equals 9,491. Great job. Will you help me solve another problem? Awesome. The problem is 7,891 minus 3,457. Let's start by writing the problem stacked, lining up each digit or place value. Which column should we start our subtraction in? Do you remember? That's right, the ones column. 1 minus 7. Looks like we need to borrow right off the bat. Okay, we need to borrow from the tens column, so cross out the 9, reduce it by 1. That gives us 8. Then write the 1 in front of the 1 in the ones column. Now we have 11 minus 7, which is 4. Next, subtract the tens column. 8 minus 5 is 3. Awesome job so far. Okay, let's subtract the hundreds column. 8 minus 4 is 4. Now we are on the last column, the thousands place value. 7 minus 3 is 4. Great job! We found 7,891 minus 3,457 equals 4,434. Awesome! We now know how to subtract large multi-digit numbers. Amazing! Hey guys, I got my basketball back and went for a dunk, but I got scared and now I'm stuck here. Thanks for joining me today. Well, that is one way to get down, I guess. See you guys later, goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.